Next drill here is a three cone drill. It's used in NFL combines. So it's very important that if you're trying to take your game to the next level, you really gotta get good at the drills they use to test you. Because if you're not getting better at those, then you're gonna look like a worse athlete and we don't want that. So make sure that you work hard on this one. How we set it up is we got three cones, just what it's called here. So you're gonna pick a line to start on because it's always nice when you come back, we wanna touch on a line and go. So we go five yards straight ahead and then you can either go left or right here. We want to train with both, so make sure that you're doing reps with it on one side and then make sure you're doing reps on the other. But either way, you're going to take a vertical line here, five yards, and then we're going to come to the left, and it's going to be five yards over. So it's going to be an L with three cones with five yards in between each one. Now the way that we start, if you're lined up here on the cone, there's a couple different sprint sections here. so. At first, when you go, we're going to sprint to the cone. Sprint to the second cone, you're going to touch the line, you're coming back to the first cone. When you get there, we touch there, we go back, you're going around cone two, you have to get to the inside of cone three. Okay, we loop around, and this is when we turn it on. As soon as you get to this cone here, you're trying to get back to the line. Some important things to remember here is that when we're sprinting, you have to stay low and keep your center of balance. When you get to this cone, do not take this leg out wide, okay? You wanna get to a position to where you are balanced when you're here to touch the cone so you can get up and go, okay? So our first movement, let's simulate it here. He's gonna take off, he's gonna stay low. When he gets here, hold that centered position. When he gets here, he's centered. His body's in centered position so he can take off and go. His weight is on the inside foot. Spin around here and let's get this angle for us. When he's centered here, he's ready to touch and his foot, his weight is on the outside of this foot. So when he turns, he can go and actually gain ground, okay? If your weight is on this foot and your first movement is this, you did not go anywhere, okay? So when you get here, you need to shift your weight to this foot so when you go, you actually gain ground. So let's simulate that little section half speed, not very fast. He's centered, shifts, and he goes. Okay, same concept when you get to this line. You're switching your foot, he's centered here, now his weight's on his right foot, and he's ready to go again. All right, he goes, we round this corner, he's hugging it as tight as he can. The wider your turns, the slower your time. So you really wanna hug the corners, stay as close as you can, and come through the line. Full speed, he's got the bands on, he's ready to go, he's in his three-point stance. Here we go. Come on, push yourself, push yourself, stay centered, get low, get around there, get around there, you can go. Go, 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 hug it. Good. That's exactly what you want to do. When he got to this position, after he made his second touch, goes back, when he comes around here, he's hugging those corners. If you take a wide turn, you're only losing time, okay? So make sure you're hugging the corner. We get here, get to the cone, and get around it. Stay tight on it so when you get to this cone, you can really turn it on. All right, so we're gonna get good rep here. Hugging the corners, moving fast, starting in a three-point stance. Here we go. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Stay centered, stay centered. Come on, push yourself. That boy, get to the line. Make sure when you're doing these sets, you do six to eight reps with the resistance. It's gonna help with balance. When you're working with resistance from side to side and making corners, your glutes are firing, your hips are firing. It's gonna help with your center of balance and speed. Power in your hip flexors, that's what K-bands can do for you. So you do eight to six rep, or six to eight reps with them on, take them off, six to eight reps with them out, or without them on.